In today's episode, Chef Randy will show us how to make a delicious kosher vegan butter veal chop using Prairie Street Prime's USDA veal chop and these fresh ingredients. Look at that, it's medium, it's beautiful. Mm. Oh my God, veal's unbelievable. Mm. Hey everybody, I'm Chef Randy. Welcome to Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen. Prairie Street Prime is your premium kosher meat experience. So today we are gonna talk about veal chops. Veal chops are incredible, all right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a Prairie Street Prime kosher veal chop, vegan butter basted with herbs and garlic. You're gonna think, how's he gonna do that? But we're using vegan butter to do a classic technique of cooking that I learned. French way, normally use butter, but we're using vegan butter and it's gonna be incredible. All right, first things first, we've got our veal. We're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. We're using kosher salt. I even get up on the, the bone, and we got a little bit of crunchy black pepper. And when we're cooking high quality products like this, salt and pepper, to me, is the easiest and the most straightforward way to do it. Because you could do all kinds of things, but if I use all, types of heavy herbs and spices and everything, and surely it'll be tasty. I wanna taste this meat. I wanna taste this beautiful veal chop. I mean, look at this thing. It's amazing. It looks, I can, if you're looking at it, it looks tender, okay? So we got our skillet. Take a little bit of avocado oil. The reason I only put a little bit of oil in is because I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, vegan butter to it so that I can start basting it and it's gonna turn nutty and it's gonna be wonderful. So I don't want a lot of oil. I don't wanna fry it. I wanna baste it with the sizzling foamy butter. So we get our skillet. I go in. You hear that sizzle? That's what I'm looking for. And I gently give it a press because the reason why I do that is I want the surface area to hit the pan. I want that to start to caramelize. If I let it sit and I don't press it, sometimes the meat will tighten up and then it'll create little pockets and I don't get a nice even sear. All right, the next component that we're gonna do with our dish is the honey glazed carrots. And we're gonna do this in one pan and we're gonna cook everything down together. So I have these carrots. And you'll notice that this is probably a different cut that you've probably seen before. This is called an oblique cut or a roll cut. And I'm just gonna demo one really quick. I start by cutting the tip off on an angle. I roll it towards me, roll it towards me, and just keep rolling it towards me. And we can throw all these in the bowl. This is the easiest way to cook these carrots, right? Carrots go in. So I get a little carrot juice. Just a touch of water. All right, so a little bit of honey. And this needs a little bit of this vegan par of butter. This is gonna help the carrots glaze. And then we're gonna finish this with a little bit of lemon and some fresh dill. But I need to put the top on this so that they can cook. And when they're almost done, I'm gonna take the top off, reduce the juice, let it come to a glaze. All right, so we can see this is starting to caramelize a little bit. Get that in there like that. Get this pan. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we got some fresh thyme, some garlic cloves, and we have our vegan butter. So I'm gonna flip this over, get this down in there, and I like to kind of position this into the back of the pan. And the reason I do that is you'll see in like two seconds, all right? So I've got these whole cloves of garlic, fresh thyme, and we're gonna put a good amount of this butter in there because you're going to see that we're going to start basting this. I want this butter to start to melt. I want the herbs to start to sizzle. And I also want this garlic to kind of roast because I also want to serve this garlic with it because it's going to be nutty, sweet, and I can smear it. Once I put it on top, I can also smear it on top while I'm eating it. All right, so now that the herbs are starting to sizzle, I want to get these herbs up on top. 
And then I'm going to start to baste this like this. And what I'm looking for is that foam as it starts to sizzle and foam on top of there. I also want to start to just baste this, this bone here. So I'm going to continue. I want everything to be cooked. And so this vegan butter really works well. Um, a lot of these butters used to be just margarine and didn't have a lot of properties of, of butter, but now they almost, they act just like butter, which is everything that we want. All right, let that sit for a second. We're gonna take a look at our carrots. So we're looking for these carrots to kind of glaze. You can see this juice starting to reduce and they're gonna cook, but then what's gonna happen is once we take the top off, the juice is going to reduce, the butter is going to start to glaze, the honey is going to start to thicken up, everything is going to come together and we're just going to have this beautiful, the carrots will be just bound by this glaze. Alright, so I'm going to flip this over, so I want to base this side, so I, again, I get the herbs on top. If I were to leave the herbs in the skillet, they would overcook a little bit. They'd start to char too much because I actually like to serve the garlic and the herbs right on top. And if the herb, the garlic starts to brown a little bit, we can just put it up on top. There we go. That's what we're looking for. You see that sizzle? I am now going to take the top off the carrots. Turn this down a little bit. So now I can tell the carrots are starting to get, we talk about fork tender. Fork goes in nice and easy. And you can see this has started to become a glaze. We started with a lot of liquid. The liquid has started to reduce. It's starting to get thick. The carrots are starting to shine. Everything's happening the way it's supposed to be. All right, so let's take the temperature of our veal. So when I take the temperature, I take it in the thickest part of the meat, away from the bone. All right, 135, we're good. Let's take this off. I think I like this side a little better. All right, so now I put the herbs right on top. I took, take the garlic. And then what I like to do as it's resting, because we always want to let the meat rest, I'll just pour that over the top. We're gonna finish our carrots. So to finish our carrots, we're gonna take a little bit of fresh dill. Carrots and dill really love each other. I just like to run my knife right through. That's it. There's a life force of herbs. If you've ever been chopping herbs and you look at your cutting board and it's all green, you've pretty much, one, you didn't have a sharp knife, two, you just cut all the, the flavor and life out of the herbs and they're in your, in your cutting board. A Little bit of fresh lemon. So we got a little zest. I like to zest right into the pan because the, all that little spray is the oils and when the oils go down into the pan, that's what I want to capture. All right, then I also want to do just a little bit of lemon juice. We'll give them one last stir. You can see there's almost no more liquid and they're totally glazed, all right? So we are ready to plate. Our veal has been resting. So resting is something we'd like to talk about as well. So even something like a steak or a chop, we wanna let it rest. The bigger the meat, the longer the rest. So a chop like this, let it rest five, eight minutes, which we're probably gonna get there right about now. So now we got our carrots. So we're gonna put a few of our carrots Right down. All right. And then we have our veal chop. Put it like that. I'm gonna leave the herbs on top. You can just, when you touch those with your knife, the little pieces of fried uh, fresh thyme kind of fall off. All right, so there we have it. This is our Prairie Street Prime kosher veal chop, vegan butter based with fresh thyme, garlic, honey glazed carrots with fresh dill and lemon. And this couldn't be a more perfect way to celebrate a holiday or a special occasion or for me to have lunch on a Monday. 
and it is just a wonderful piece of meat and a beautiful way to cook, classic way to cook to get wonderful flavors. And I am ready to taste this thing. It's been screaming at me since I've been, since it's been resting. All right, so I'm gonna take my most favorite piece, which is right off the side right here, this, this uh, surprise steak. And as we cut into that, we look at that, it's medium, it's beautiful. It's got a nice little rosy pink color to it. It's juicy. Mmm. I don't even know where to put the knife, I'm so excited. Oh my God. So, what's cool about this recipe is it takes me back to when I was a young cook and learning French technique and cooking meat and butter but we cooked it with vegan butter, beautiful veal, and it tastes identical. It is unbelievable, and I think I'm even getting goosebumps right now talking about it. So I gotta have a carrot, because I am i can't even wait. Mm. Carrots are unbelievable. Veal's unbelievable. You gotta try this recipe, it is awesome. Coming up next on the Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen channel, you'll learn how to make delicious kosher beer braised short ribs. It's to take this short rib, I'm just gonna dip it in flour. This is so good. This was Prairie Street Prime, vegan butter-based kosher veal chop. Prairie Street Prime is your premium kosher meat experience. Please subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and we will see you soon.